On this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break, I'm doing a beer by Modern Times. Uh, if you'll remember, I did one a bunch of episodes back called Fortunate Islands, which was their hoppy wheat, which I liked quite a bit. So I'm hoping Blazing World will continue with that uh, pattern and that I will like it as well. Um, it is 6.8% alcohol by volume, and it, is, it says on the front it is a hoppy, dank amber beer. Um, so you can see it. They have a very classic style kind of look to their cans. Um, there you go. And they are out of San Diego, California. And I'm not sure how young of a company they are, but they're relatively new within the past year or so. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. I'm assuming since it's like a hoppy amber, it's supposed to be something kind of like Nugget Nectar by Trogues, which is a beer that I greatly, greatly appreciate. All right, got some of that in there, creating a decent head on it. Um, looks very orange, almost like a little bit of a brownish tinge to it, but very, very orange. Looks very clear too. Uh, this is obviously filtered. I can see right through that thing. Mm. Ooh, very aromatic with, like it says on there, it is very dank. Mm. A lot of citrus to it. There's a little bit of like a funkiness, which I guess is where, you know, the dank kind of comes comes through. Um, citra hops will typically give um, a little bit of a funkiness. Some people say it's kind of like body odor, kind of, but like really, I mean, that sounds terrible, but it's actually not bad the, the way it presents that. Um, I get a little bit of that. I don't believe there's citra hops in it, but I get that kind of note to it. I get a little like, I don't know, in, in addition to the citrus, I get a little, maybe like a sugary cherry type um, scent to it. Definitely decent malt in it, a little caramelly uh, on the back of the um, of the smell. It smells good though, a little pineapple to it in there too. Like sugary pineapple, maybe like a dehydrated pineapple. Oh wow. That's a robust flavor. I get a little bit of like a bubblegum aspect to it. I get that kind of like dehydrated, very sugary pineapple flavor to it. I get some, a little bit of like a carameliness to it as well. There's definitely some really nice malt in there. This is a really well-balanced, hoppy, malty beer. Um, the dankness, like they say in there, is, is very apparent, quite hoppy. There's a nice bitterness that it finishes with. So, um, wow. Wow. Um, very happy with this one. Mm. Oh, that's good. I wouldn't put it up there with Nugget Nectar. I think Nugget Nectar is a better uh, example of, you know, a, a hoppy amber. But this is quite good. Um, a little extra information on it. It's uh, 85 IBUs, which is pretty up there. Uh, final gravity is 1.008, and the SRM is 11, which is like an amber coloration. Um, the SRM and the Final Gravity, that stuff, I'm not going to go into explaining it again. Go back and watch the Fortunate Islands uh, episode, and I explain it all there. Anyway, uh, they list, which I really like, the malts and the hops that they use for these beers. Uh, this one has Nelson, Simcoe, and Mosaic hops. Um, the Actually, the, that kind of like a uh, bit of like the BO-ish stuff that I usually get with Citra, uh, I also get with Mosaic, so that makes sense. Uh, malts two row, uh, Munich Midnight, or Munich and Midnight Wheat. So, um, let me see if there's any sort of interesting notes on this. No, it just says that there's a sweetness and a fruitiness and lightly bready malt backbone to it, but pleasant, uh, pleasingly dry. So, those are the only kind of flavor notes they have on this. Um, I would recommend this beer. It's a nice beer. Um, if you like hoppy ambers, and I think... Like I said before, it's a very nice balance between the malt and the hoppiness. So, recommend it, Modern Times. You yeah, did a good job. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Everyone, check out the podcast, uh, Brutal Battle. It's on iTunes, on Stitcher. You can just check out the website, too, brutalbattle.com. If you have questions or anything, um, you can email me at brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. But thank you, everyone, for watching, and hope you watch some more.